is my opinion of sales samurai. Hmm, I guess that's what we'll find out. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I talk about building brands on Etsy and Shopify. I started my e-commerce store at the end of 2019, about seven months before COVID started. And since then, I've been documenting that journey along the way, sharing back all of my wins and yes, my losses. I fundamentally believe that having more growth mindset people in this world makes the world a better place. What is my honest opinion of Sales Samurai? So honestly, Sales Samurai, I kind of overlooked the platform before. But now that I'm looking at it, it's a lot of valuable stuff in here. Actually, now that I've been using Sales Samurai, I've adopted more in-depth practices into my keyword research, my product and competitor analysis. Overall, it's a really, really in-depth platform. Unlike other platforms that share estimated sales data where they're actually projecting sales data of your competitors, which we know that's not a thing. Like you can't actually do that without basically either one stealing the inside of stores information illegally or by using an algorithm based calculation, estimating what a store's potential sales volume is. So sales and rise doesn't do that. All their metrics are really true to what's happening inside Etsy, which I really, really like, but let's hop into a dashboard. If you've never seen a sales samurai dashboard and let me just go over some of the tools that I'm personally using now when I'm doing keyword research, listing optimization, competitor analysis, and all that stuff. When you get into a sales samurai dashboard off the bat, this is, it's pretty intuitive, very intuitive. All of your uh, tools are right here on the side. And then you have a tutorials tab where every tool has a video that will explain exactly what it does. But let's just talk about some of the tools that I like in the search tab here. You have a basic search option and a single listing option. So in the basic search option, you can do a keyword. So if you're looking for opportunities selling dog collars, right? And you're gonna use the keyword dog collar and you're trying to find some of the best competitive keywords around dog collar that you could include in your listing. Essentially, once you throw that word in here, these are the metrics that I look at. The Etsy search volume, search volume versus competition because if you can find keyword opportunities that have higher search but lower competition, not all the time are you gonna find low competition, but in the case that you can, obviously you wanna use those keywords in the beginning of your titles, tags, and descriptions. So that's what I'm looking for just off the bat. But now when I come down here, because I put in that broad key term dog collar, Sam Sales Rise is gonna give me a bunch of different words um, that I could potentially use if they make sense because they're a keyword product fit. So right off the bat here, when I come, actually let's sort this. So I can sort this by highest search volume. Um, boy dog collar. So it's a thousand searches um, and we have a lower Google competition. But let's see what the competition is on Etsy. And also the reason why Sales Samurai is pulling in Google metrics is because it's giving you a more broad scale of that niche or that keyword potential. So if you're running ads on Etsy, which you should, Etsy also spends a part of your budget on Google. So if the, the competition is lower on Google and Etsy's pushing your listings to Google, which it's one of their network partners, which they do, that's really valuable data because that means that it will be cheap, the clicks will be cheaper on Google as well when Etsy pushes your listing to Google. So if we type in boy dog collar that's saying the Google competition's low, Let's just see if the competition's low on, on Etsy as well. It's a little bit less, so that could be a potential competitor, comp more competitive keyword than just say dog collar because we still have that higher search and a relatively lower competition over here. So that would be a word that I would explore, you know, putting in the beginning of my title tag and description. They also have a Chrome extension that does the exact same thing. Extension does the same thing inside Etsy, which I really, really like. I love a good Chrome extension because what a Chrome extension does integrates with your screen right there. You So I actually use the Chrome extension for keyword research more, searching the keywords inside Etsy. And then when I click, it will bring me to the exact page of that keyword that I'm looking for, looking to rank for. 
So let's just come back to here. When I scroll down over here, it's gonna give me other metrics about top sellers using that keyword. I sort it by views here. So 60,000 views. Obviously that doesn't mean that they're making the most money or the most sales, but if it's getting the most exposure, there's a reason why it's getting the most exposure. So I'm gonna click on the details here and explore. Like this listing is only 99 days old and the fact that it's getting an average of 20,000 views a month is insane. Like that's a lot of traffic to go to a single listing. So I would wanna further explore what's going on in this listing for my own KPIs of you know, what their photography is like, um, what are they offering? We can see that we're, they're offering a personalization effect. So all of, that, all of that data that you pull from Sales Samurai, you can then put that into action when you're building your, your development stages of your product. So you know that this is the guy that I need to be when I'm entering the marketplace. Just this tool alone, when you come into the search, is super valuable. You can also do it on a single listing. So you can copy a competitor's listing and it will come bring you back a whole bunch of, of data on the actual listing that you find inside of Etsy. This is just really where Sales Samurai outshines the competition because they just have so many tools. Shop section here. Um, once you connect your shop, essentially it's gonna start pulling in a bunch of metrics about your own store. So it's gonna alert you on your listings that have missing tags. So if you didn't fully optimize your tags and use 13 tags and you click here, you'll be able to see, okay, uh-oh, maybe I forgot some tags. Let me add in some tags, some listings that have missing images. So like maybe you're not fully optimizing your listings. Those are the first two that I've been going through with my own listings and making sure that every single listing has all the tags optimized, all the, all the photo slots are taken. The next one that we're gonna look at is the competitor tracker. I think this is probably one of the most valuable tools is because the competitor tracker allows you to track stores and other top sellers that you aspire to be like. So if you're, especially if you're new, one of the first things that you should do, go find in Etsy, who is your competition? Who is the competition that is selling similar products as you competing against? So that means you have to have, you know, just as good as branding. You have to get just as good as product features, beat them in price point and value proposition and very, Asian options, right? So you should go find five to seven of those stores and start tracking, you know, what they're doing to see if you're growing proportionally based off of how many listings you've launched. Obviously, you're not looking to copy your competition. You're looking to get inspired by your competition and build a more competitive business than your competition. The other really big tool that I like is this favorite section. So as you're doing keyword research, um, Sales Samurai gives you an option to heart all of your keywords and then you can create lists, basically. Create lists and then those lists will come into your favorites sections. You can see you have a keywords with categories and then inside your category, you have all of the keywords that you wanna use later on. And then finally, they have a listing creator where they're actually gonna help you create your listing and they're gonna give you suggestions each step of the way as you're creating your listing. Basically like staying up to date on your behalf for you on Etsy best practices. And every single time there's a change, like recently there was a change with keywords where they're suggesting you actually put your like I said before, your top keywords in the beginning of your title tags and descriptions. Like Sales Samurai is communicating all of those updates inside here to make sure that you're making your listings up to date with what Etsy's current standards are on your behalf. They also have this calendar tool, which is like, gives you ideas for like new product launches, maybe new trends. And it looks like the calendar is true to the United States, United Kingdom, Germany. Out of good uh, design opportunities if you know you sell the product like this or even sales that you can run around the calendar that they have set up for you. This is an awesome, awesome SaaS company. I wish I was the owner, actually. Also, just to let you know, they are actually having a Black Friday sale. So if you register for six months, you get it for only $39.99. I put a link in the description. You might as well get the Black Friday deal while you can. At the end of the day, whatever software you use, it's gotta be what works for you and your processes. Hopefully this shed some light on some of my processes. You know, it helped you out. I'll see you in the next video.